Hello everybody, this is Mike Gosson with Vectology. I'm here on behalf of Vector Toots Plus. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do here with our little bullet is create the actual shape. This is the most important part here. I'm going to draw a little shape kind of like this. I'm going to come straight down with this, like so. The next thing we're going to do here is start sectioning off our colors. Now, this is really important because now you're going to add color to your drawing without having to redo everything. So, go ahead and take your scissors tool, cut there. Let me hide the artboard real quick. There we go. You can cut here as well, like that. Now I'm going to select this top one here, like so. I'm going to change this to about gold. I'm going to keep this one, make this something like a darker black here, a little bit darker, and keep the one on the bottom the same. Now with the one on the bottom, you got to make sure that you bring this around here so it actually loops. So what you're going to do here, take your um. Your ruler right here. That's not perfect. Okay, right there. I'm gonna take my pen tool here. Select this one. Come just like that. Very nice. Actually, I'm gonna stop here like this. Come down. Come straight right there, so I can get a nice little gap there. And I want this gap to be a different color as well. So let's go ahead and change that. Cut that off right there. Just like that. Okay, now this is going to be gold as well. Just like that. I'm going to go back to my gold piece right there. There we go. You can do that all day long. If you want to get really technical with it, you can go and do all kinds of grooves, but that's pretty much all you need there. So let's get rid of this ruler here. First, I'm going to group all this up together. Go edit. 3D revolve. And there we go. We pretty much have our bullet shape there. And you pretty much see that if you bring the underside up, you get that nice little shape in there. Looks really good. Now we're gonna go ahead and start edit this little sh editing this little shape here. So we can get some copies there. Okay now. I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna bring this shape up here a little bit more because it needs to be more pointy. Make it more of a hollow tip look. So I'm gonna bring that like this. There we go. Start messing around with these shapes here to get some more grooves. Take my warp tool here and start doing some nice little groove work like that. Like that looks pretty good. This is good for rockets and all kinds of different stuff you might create like this, but you know, this is a really easy way to start cutting in to your grooves with this. Bring one big groove in like this. Just to kind of show you guys what you can do. Now you can see Illustrator doesn't like funky shapes, so let's get rid of that. Maybe it's a simple groove here. That's about all we need for that. As long as you're paying attention just to the actual, you know, shape, you should be fine. Now let's go ahead and make one groove right there where the the actual casing and everything would meet. There you have your bullet. There. This is Mike Gosling with Vectology here on behalf of Vector Tits Plus. Thank you very much for watching.